Hi and welcome to another quick tutorial on the Sonoff. This is Chucks and I have a question from Vali Hendelson, I hope I got his name right, or Hendleton, um, about how to ground your, um, I call it ground because I'm a technician, I've done 30 odd years as a technician, um, how to make the ESP8266 programmable if your main switch is dead and broken. Now, um, if you look onto this diagram here, pin 15 is GPIO 0. GPIO 0 here, when you've powered it up through the FTDI cable, at the same time you need to ground GPIO 0, pin 15, to ground. And to do this, I'll give you a quick quick look at the um, my old Sonoff down here. The old, uh, sorry about the lighting. I'll get it in a minute. So we're looking here at the chip down here. So there's a dot up in the corner there. That's pin one. So if you come across the top, there's eight pins. There's another eight pins down the other side. So the second last one on this edge here, if you go up one, that's pin 15. Now I have another diagram here which I downloaded and I know my camera work is sucky today. Um, where is it? No, it's not that one. Um, it's, it's definitely not that one. It's this one here. So here we go, um, Vali, if you're there, and any other viewers that are watching, this is um, handy to know. So here's your dot will be here, and this is pin 1. Okay, so you go across here, and you come down here, and pin 15 is the second last. What you need to do is hook pin 15 to a ground potential on your um, device. Now, on the Sonoff, You'll probably find that you can get a ground. Let's try and think here. You'll get a ground probably off the FTDI cable. So one of these will be ground because you've got a power and a ground and then you've got transmit and receive type data, clocking data on it. Um, not a very good way of explaining it, but it yeah that's all you have to know you just need to find the ground um, on your pin and if I go back to my main diagram here I should be able to find the ground so you got pin there's pin 15 there so if um, sorry about the I've expanded this a bit so you could see it if you go up There are all the VCCs coming off those um, capacitors on the diagram. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, so locating the ground. Okay, on your on your chip itself. Okay, so pin 15's here. If you keep working your way around, the second last pin on the on that's if you've got the chip here, it'll be over here, right? Pin 33. So you ground, add pin 33 to GPIO 0, and that will short it out for a certain amount of time, and then you just release the pin, and then it will be in programming mode. So I hope that helped, helped you uh, out there. And all you other subscribers, I really appreciate um, all the messages that you leave. And I try and help out if I can. I don't like seeing people um, not understanding something. Like um, if you want to go through the whole chip or how it all relates, um, I can go through that if you want me to. Um, I've had about 29 years of um, electronic theory and study and everything like that through the military and I think I should be able to explain a simple diagram like this. Anyway, um, 
if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up and also could you subscribe if you can um, I've still got a bit of work to be done I've got some other Sonoff gear coming in I have my jewel that I've got to get into um, and I've still got my two um, bridges that I want to get onto because I have a little little thing that I've um, bought a new TV and the thing doesn't go into straight on straight away so it's not like the Samsung so just for a little bit of knowledge buy yourself a Samsung before but before you buy a cheaper TV that might do a lot more but won't turn itself on when you tell it to do it with Google Home anyway nice to see you all catch you around I've got some stuff coming in on the 3d printed side too I have a couple of little things I want to do and um, they're coming up pretty soon I've got a friend making some parts for me I'm um, modifying my CR10 and other things other projects are coming along as well anyway thank you and have a wonderful day